What's up, Brian Tong here, and this here is the Hover Air X1. It is a self flying camera drone that fits in my hand and it doesn't need or require any phone or app to use it. That's pretty clever and yes, that is really cool. Now it takes a variety of cinematic style videos and photos and can get through places really other drones wouldn't even dare to go because of its size and its sensors here and it is all about it's ease of use because you can record fun and memorable moments in seconds without a bunch of setup. You know, a lot of drones, you, you gotta do a lot of things before they get going. And this really is one of my new favorite tech toys. So let's just check out its design first. And you see here the Hover Air X1 as is, right? It's really a compact, foldable, right? Folded in my hand drone that can be thrown in almost any bag because of its size. It can fit inside of some of your big pockets, but not inside my skinny jeans, but all you have to do to use it is you have it here first, right? Then open it up, okay? Then you hold the power button for about two seconds. And you'll see this green light here. It's gonna turn on just Flight like that. And then you'll even see that camera swivel up and down to let you know it's on. Um, when it first turns on also, the LEDs all light up. And then there's a button above the power button that's here. This is gonna cycle through the different shot modes. So when I hit it, Zoom out. each time, follow. you can hear it change between its different shooting modes. We just heard follow, you also have this one. Orbit. Orbit. Bird eye. Custom. Okay, Dolly so track. that's custom dolly track. Now, once you've found the mode that you like and you're ready to shoot, just hit the power button once I'm not gonna do that indoors, but a timer is gonna go off and the Hover Air X1 will then take off directly from your palm in three seconds. It does a countdown and it's really that simple. It is so cool and it takes a video with a flight path based on the mode that you selected or it can take a still image. What you also see here is where this light is green, it's gonna end up being red when it's taking the actual shot. So you just let it do its magic and then when it's done, it's gonna return to you, you just end up putting your hand out and it detects it and then it will land directly back in your hand. Just like that, like how wild is that? It just doesn't get any easier than that for this. And I think it's so cool and this really opens up a lot of creative and quick ways to take shots um, in different places. I was just instantly impressed with how easy and how smart it was without having to dig into any major manual. So that's really the basics of what it can do. You open it, you turn it on, you choose the mode, you press the power button, and then it shoots the shot that you want. And now that you know how it basically works, we're gonna go dig a little deeper, because yes, this is a self-flying camera drone, so you do need to be aware of the conditions and locations that you're flying it around. Just use common sense, don't fly this in severe weather, don't fly it in extreme temperatures if it's below zero degrees Celsius or above 40 degrees Celsius, and do not fly the Hover Air X1 in any type of restricted zones like near an airport. Use some of that common sense, right? Now this weighs just 125 grams, which is lighter than an iPhone, and you do not need any FAA registration for this drone because it's so light, which makes it usable for really everybody. And then you have its enclosed design. You can see, right, the propellers, they're completely protected, and this makes it safe to fly around people in spaces. Now, by default, the videos here record at 1080p HD quality with HDR at 30 frames per second and a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And you can bump it up to a 2.7K resolution at 30 frames per second, or you can go 1080p at 60 frames per second, but there will be no HDR in those modes if you really wanna dig into the app. And we're gonna talk about that app in a little bit. Now also internally, it has 32 gigs of onboard storage. So that's gonna be enough uh, to shoot a whole lot of clips here that reside here. Then you can transfer the files back to your phone after shooting. Now out of the box, the Hover Air X1 comes with two batteries. They look like this, and then it also has a charging, charging hub. So here's what um, one of the batteries looks like. Just to pop it off, you literally, there's just like these little two grooves here. You just pull it out, pop out the battery, and then when you wanna charge it, right, take this, pop it right back in, and then you're good to go. Here's the charger that charges over USB-C, so there's a USB-C connector right there, and then that's how you basically power this thing up. Now each battery gives you up to 20 flight paths or about 
11 minutes of flight time and it only records what happens when the red light is on. So it's really made for these snippets or following shots that are completely usable without any wasted recording. Now the Hover Air X1, it comes in black or white, but when people saw me using it, I think it's really, they're, they're so surprised. It's that easy three second palm takeoff that gets them every time. I saw a lot of people smiling when I did that and it's still my favorite part of the drone. I mean, there's, there's some charm to it of how automated it is and how you don't really have to think about it. Now, I told you, you can use this without a phone or app. Uh, you really, really can. But if you want even more control, the Hover X1 app, this is gonna let you change things like the distance it is from you, uh, the duration of the clip, and even flight angle of the shots with its different modes. The last mode on the Hover Air X1, it's called custom. And when I bumped around it, you heard it first say, dolly track um, you can actually go into the app and change it to either be a snapshot or what i like to choose and what i have it set up is the dolly track and that shot follows you while you're walking forwards towards the hover air and it's really dynamic you can also change it to record between landscape or vertical mode depending on what content or social media you want to post on so this is very versatile like that, and thanks to the app, you can really dig in. Now, you really have a lot of options available when you use the companion app alongside of it. So, although you can use this without any app whatsoever, which makes it simple and fun to use, I think that the app kind of elevates this. And there's obviously a lot of tech packed inside the Hover Air X1 as well. It uses advanced visual inertia odometry and a time of flight laser altitude system. The sensors are gonna be here and you can see them and it allows it to locate itself wherever it's flying without the need to depend on GPS. So this just lets it have a lot more precise control wherever it is. And I put it to the test because I decided to launch it and just have it try and follow me through this small walking area filled with branches and brush, both big and small. And you'll first see that this area of hanging branch branches that it completely goes through unscathed, right? I thought that was impressive on its own. Then it keeps on going and it keeps on going following me. It keeps navigating through these tight spaces and we're not even done yet, right? When we move over, there's more overhang and these thicker leaves, they come up as the pathway gets smaller and smaller. You can see me trying to get through it myself and it still makes it through even when it brushes against it because you have this protection, it doesn't get caught up in the propellers and all of this is while it's focused on recording me getting through this narrow area. And I don't know of any other drone that I could successfully navigate through that and it was really impressive to see just how the Hover Air 1 can do this. Now in some of my shots, you're gonna hear this high-pitched sound of the drone, right? This is the propellers when I'm showing it off. So there's another cool feature as a creator that you might want to try out. It's sound recording with the Hover Air X1. Now, this is pretty unique, so I just want to show it off to you in action. So, this is really cool. Now, there's a voice feature where when you're connected to the Hover Air X1, it uses an algorithm to get rid of the fan noise from the Hover Air X1, and I can, you know, talk this through, walk you around, tell you that I'm walking up Fryman Trail right now, and just kind of talk through this while we're hanging out it's pretty cool so i want to show you what it's like and how it sounds and it, i mean it's more than passable so it's a really cool fun feature and you use your phone to capture the audio but then syncs with the video pretty sweet yeah you like that it's pretty cool i think it's super cool now i think the hover air x1 has all the essential type of flight pass and moves that you need i really tried all of them and i think uh stylistically Orbit is always gonna be a great one when you're moving around 360, you capture the background, it's fun, it's dynamic, it's constantly moving. You've also got the bird's eye view, that's kind of fun, it's, it's up top. Um, but again, I'm really a fan of the dynamic movement. I like when these things really feel alive. So whether it's following me from behind for a walk in the follow mode that is just kind of tracking where I go, that always looks great. Um, and depending on the composition and what's in front of you, that can be really cool. But I'm a fan of the dolly track feature that's literally having a camera that's ahead of you wherever you're going and capturing all the action around you. And I haven't found a simpler flying drone to use. And you know, as time goes on, this camera technology here will keep getting better for social media and quick fun shots. I think this is 
absolutely perfect at 1080p and I'll be looking forward to seeing how it improves over time. But this is probably one of my favorite products of the year just because of the tech that it's showing off. Just because if you use drones before, they do take a while to set up. Then you gotta sync uh, the drone to a remote and then it takes a certain level of skill to even fly them properly. Even with some of their built-in modes, you got those automated features, but you still gotta like navigate and go through menus to get to them. Um, and also they wouldn't be able to navigate through that little pathway like the Hover Air X1 did. That's what was really impressive. And I think that there's a lot that can be learned by other companies from the Hover Air X1. And this really does offer something different and unique in the personal drone space, but it, you know, it's not trying to compete with those 4K monsters out there just yet, but this is the simplest and easiest drone to use that's super compact. I mean, it folds up and it's really made for consumers and creatives that might be intimidated about drones all this time. And again, you don't even need an app or a phone or anything to use it. You just need this, a few button pushes and you're ready to go. And it also can fit in almost every bag and even in some pockets. And I can't say enough about the three second palm launch. I love this thing. And then when it's done, it just comes back to Papa. You gotta love it. So if you like what you've seen and heard, there's an exclusive code for $20 off the Hover Air X1 combo to take advantage of. You can check out the info in the description of this video. And there you have it. This is the Hover Air X1.